Okay, our next speaker is Ravi from the University of Tennessee. Good morning, everyone. If you are wondering why this cow is so amazed, I think it's because of my backstory. So while I was a kid, I used to see many farmers back in India making these concoctions from cow manure and use it in the field. As I grew up, I understood that yes, they were indeed helping in the plant growth promotion, but I always wondered why. Thanks to my advisor, Dr. Jagadamma in the University of Tennessee, I had a small grant to unravel the mysteries behind these cow manure concoctions. So basically these cow manure concoctions are bioformulations which can either function as uh, soil growth and plant growth enhancers or the biofertilizers or the biocontrol agents. But these are considered or classified into traditional ecological knowledge or indigenous technical knowledge because they are very endemic to some parts of India and uh, there are many things to know about it. For example, we do not know which kinds of microbes are present in these microbial concoctions or how they are able to survive once they are introduced into the soil or how they are interacting with the native microbes or how they are actually interacting after introduction into soil with the plants because there's an already established ecosystem of plants and microbes for a long time. And we do not know which plants are actually being promoted or which plants growth is promoted because of these inoculations. So my research objectives were simple. Are they really enhancing the plant growth? And if so, I wanted to classify and characterize the microbial uh, functions within those inoculations. And for that purpose, I prepared two inoculations. The first one, the seed treatment formulation, was for seed treatment. And the second one, which is called as probiotic formulation, was to test if, if it is a plant growth enhancer. And I conducted a greenhouse study as well as an in vitro study where I looked at the germination, seedling vigor, and the plant growth promotion up to 30 days, and also collected soil samples on 7, 15, and 30th day. And we did this experiment on corn, soybean, and wheat. And when we looked at the results, they were amazing. So if you look at the wheat germination in the second row, it was significantly increased compared to the control, which only received water. And this trends followed similarly along with the seedling vigor, as well as the shoot biomass, tiller count, and then the root biomass. Unfortunately, we did not see these effects in corn or soybean, except in wheat. So I wanted to know are the microbes that were present in these inoculations for the actual reason. So when I looked at the microbial uh, composition in these uh, inoculations or in the soil, they were actually significantly different from time to time between the crops and also uh, at different stages. And the major families that were represented for the bacteria after inoculating in the soil were the families GP6, Bradyrhizobiaceae, and Chitinophagaceae. Chitinophagaceae is a decomposer, mostly feeds on the chitin and lignin, but the Bradyrhizobiaceae, it's a nitrogen fixing uh, family, and most of the uh, bacteria in there can also convert the organic matter to nitrate and ammonium. Whereas the GP6, it's an acidobacteria, uh, which will help in uh, the biogeochemical cycles as well as uh, providing nutrients to the uh, plants. And when I looked at the functional classification of the fungi, the first bar represents the field soil that I used in the pots for the experiment. And the second one is a co-inoculated treatment after 30 days. And the third one was the control. So this is all from wheat. And we observed that the amount of saprophytes significantly increased after we inoculate uh, the soil with these you know, cow manure formulations. And also the plant pathogens that were uh, present in the field soil decreased compared to the control. So this research provides a proof of concept that these bioformulations made from cow manure can indeed work as biocontrol agents as well as the uh, soil uh, enhancement agents. So for a farmer who is spending up to 5 to $10 for uh, various inoculations to use, this would actually help them to decrease the cost to zero if they have some cattle. Thank you very much.